Hey guys, Hornsburg here. Back in the video today, I'm going to be talking to you guys about some stuff coming up with the channel, especially my new website. I'm going to be selling some stuff on there, but this is going to be a great video, so let's get into it. Starting off, I'm going to talk about the website that I'm going to be creating. I'm going to create this website using Shopify. I just feel like that's probably the easiest way because I don't personally know how to create my own website. But on there, I'll have different tabs for different things. Like, for instance, I'm going to be selling 3D printed things. I'm going to be selling Lego things, like actual Lego brand. I'm not going to be selling anything custom on there. I personally don't really like any customs. Uh, I mean, some custom guns are cool, but I don't have any customs except for like the ones that i printed at the Lego discovery center with like the printing station they had there but yeah i don't really like customs so i'm not gonna have customs on there i'm just gonna put on there what i think i would want to buy from a like lego reseller or lego shop um i'm gonna have retired stuff on there it's pretty much mostly gonna be used i'm trying to think if there's anything uh brand new that I would like to sell, possibly later down the line, maybe some uh, CMS, sealed CMS, um, if you're interested in those, yeah, um, put a comment on this video saying what you think you would want possibly from my collection, um, I'm going to be selling off uh, portions of it, but um, I'm also going to have uh, mini builds on there, like um, uh, bags with pieces, so technically custom, but like models that I've made personally, not that people have other made, like a uh, cross or something. You don't have to buy that if you're not a Christian, whatever. Um, uh, mini scale Money and Falcon, I've built one of those. Mini scale Y-Wing, I've built one of those. Those were all my, uh, my formula or my idea. Um, but also other people have done many uh, builds before. But um, I'm going to be putting my ideas on there. And I'll probably use stud.io, which is um, Bricklink's uh, like programming software for instructions. So I'll probably just put the pieces in there and then put them all together. And then it'll put instructions together for me to uh, build that or whatever. And then I'll probably put a QR code on the bags to send you to the website. Because I'm not sure I can do printed. I mean, I could do printed instructions. That would just use a lot of ink. And I think a QR code would be easier because it's digital and it's more up to date. Um, and it's more modern. But um, yeah, I'll probably be doing some of that. And then I'll be putting some of my use collection on there. Which is like just sets that I'm just not really necessarily wanting anymore like there's a marvel ship with um what's his name dark side or whatever but it's spelled weird so i don't know but um yeah i'm not i'm not really the biggest fan of some of the sets so i'm probably gonna uh get rid of those or i've just had my joy out of it and i'm ready to uh get rid of them like i'm looking over here at the bonsai tree i'm i'll probably keep that one just because it's cool like a cool like dex desk piece but, um, yeah, I'll probably keep that one. But there's also some other, like, Ninjago stuff that I might be putting on there. Yeah, there probably is some Ninjago stuff. Like, there's a dragon that uh, can go with the boost set, which I have the boost set, but I'm not going to be putting that on there, obviously, because that's one of the coolest sets, and I'm going to be keeping that. That's one of my, uh, not one of my first sets, but uh, it was definitely pretty early on there. And then all, like, the Toys R Us exclusive stuff that I have, I'm not going to be putting on there because I like that. But, like, just stuff that I'm pretty much done with for now. Um, I might buy more later down the line. I'm not sure. But really right now, my main goal is to try to get a version of every battle pack sealed and used. So, the only ones I have right now that are sealed and used in my collection is 501st. Uh, the more updated 501st. The Snowtrooper. The uh, 332nd and the uh, Mandalorian Battle Pack, and the Clone Trooper Battle Pack. So pretty much everything I have up here, except for the Utapau back there, because Utapau is gonna be expensive to get used as well. So yeah, but this is an expensive venture and I'm kind of trying to supply that. Also, under the 3D printing tab, I'm gonna be selling some of the stuff that I 3D printed and is my files and stuff. Some of it as well could be other people's uh, files as well, like off of Thingiverse, which Thingiverse is just a website where you can get 3D printing files for stuff. So it's basically other people's stuff, but you can create it as well and put your own spin on it and like 
change it in the app, which I sometimes do. But um, I probably won't be putting, well, one of my best sellers, which I do sell at school, but obviously I don't want that out anywhere except for this. Um, I do sell the some 3D printing stuff at school, which I could get in trouble for, which I'm going to stop, which I kind of have stopped doing. But um, uh, I can't sell the Shrek ear crocs because I was making them before crocs made them, but croc probably has them patented now. So I can't, I can't do that um, because my website will get taken down and I won't be able to sell anything for like ever. But um, yeah, I can't do that unfortunately, even though that would be a bestseller. Um, yeah, that would definitely be a bestseller. It just goes in your croc. It's like the Shrek ears for your croc. It's so cool. But crocs are doing it now because yeah. But um, yeah, it's really cool. And I'm just gonna be selling like 3D printed stuff on there, like Star Wars signs and the Simpson signs and just uh, really cool stuff. Um, also, the main thing I want to focus on for this video was the website, but especially on the website, I'm going to be having uh, minifigure spacers, which is going to be my product. So these are minifigure spacers. I 3D print them and they fit between the minifigures uh, legs and torso. So it prevents arm cracking, like all arm cracking, and it looks good on the minifigure. Like it doesn't just look like a space that the minifigure has. Um, I'll go get an example. I'm totally honest when I say this. I was looking at my mock and I couldn't find one because it blends in so well. But look, it just fits in perfectly with the torso. And I made this file myself. I didn't copy anybody. This is my original idea. Nobody has done this before. I don't think so. But yeah, this is my original idea. And this is going to be on the website. It will most likely be $10 for, uh, or not $10 four dollars for ten of them which i think is a very good deal because you're i mean basically protecting your lego collection it depends how big it is but honestly i think it's a pretty fair price and it's fair to the consumer as well um i really just want to be fair to you guys because i know you guys have supported the channel for a long time but also i would like new customers as well and i'm going to be using social marketing to get that so i'm going to be posting about these spacers every day or other products and um, I'm just gonna be like trying to get more consumers, more consumers, more consumers. So I'm gonna put the website link in the title. Um, I'll probably start doing that, or I won't put the, the website link in the title for my regular videos on here. I'll probably put it in like the comments or something, but nobody really comments on here, which I hope you guys do because I like the feedback, but it's okay. Um, but yeah, also, um, in a couple of weeks or in a week or so i'm gonna be able to do black but um the only reason i can't do black right this minute is because it's squishy i only have a uh, squishy filament to do black so i want to make it more durable and well technically squishy is more durable but it's not it's hard to explain because it's stringy like if you pull on the string of it like it's really stringy so i don't want to do this because this isn't up to the quality i would like to produce but um i'm gonna be getting a uh, hard black filament or like this this is like hard plastic this will not break like i mean it can break if you put it under extreme pressure like anything really except for like titanium or anything i don't know but it's plastic as well like the lego figure so it's about the durability of the figure so it's not the exact uh plastic that lego uses but it is very close and it's pretty much the same exact white that lego uses as well it comes up on camera a lot better than it does in person like i can barely see it in person and it just fits so well with the figure it doesn't make it look taller and if you have it on all your figures it just makes it like 10 times easier because you're protecting your collection from like getting damaged it's like insurance practically for your figures so i would suggest you guys to uh get some of these once i drop them Remember, the the website will be coming out on Friday, which is this Friday. Uh, that will be, today's the 28th, so that will be the 30th. I might do it Saturday, which would be the, the first, I believe, I think. I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I, uh, I'm not sure. 
it is either gonna go up Friday or Saturday. But um, yeah, that's the main uh, reason I wanted to make this video. But also I'm gonna have other 3D printed stuff on there like articulating sharks, sharks which just means that um, they can be moving, like it moves and stuff. And then I'll, I can't put anything Shrek on there, which is horrible because uh, that's some of the best selling stuff at school because everything everybody's just obsessed with shreks for some reason but i've been making money off of that so that's good but um yeah i'm gonna stop doing it at school because it's not i could get in trouble for it but um i might also sell some other lego stuff on there i'm working on an idea for uh legs for your minifigure or not legs but like stuff you could put on the legs to like protect the figure but um, that's kind of hard because the Lego piece already exists, but I need to come up with something different. So I'm not sure. I need to come up with something. But um, yeah, I'm, I've been working on that and uh, I've been working on packaging for this. I've actually not gotten packaging done yet and uh, I'm launching Saturday. So I need to figure that out. But um, I don't expect too many orders on Saturday or Friday, Friday or Saturday, but um I honestly hope that it does pretty good because I, I like the product a lot and I think it was it would definitely be something that I would buy a lot of or just to protect my collection honestly it's just like I said insurance for your lego collection that's what I'm probably going to market it as but um yeah I just wanted to say uh thank you for watching this video I hope that you um will visit my website when it posts on Friday or Saturday and uh, I'm really excited for this new thing I've created. And uh, yeah, um, I'll probably get back to Lego. I'll probably post a Lego video on Friday because today is Wednesday. I'll post it this morning. I'm recording it Wednesday morning, so I should have recorded this beforehand. But I really just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll catch you guys next time. Make sure to like and subscribe. And goodbye.